Mud Flat Hiking, Wikipedia article audio. Mud Flat Hiking is a recreation enjoyed by Dutch, Germans, Danes, and others in the Netherlands, Northwest Germany, and in Denmark. Mud Flat Hikers are people who, with the aid of a tide table, use a period of low water to walk and wait on the watershed of the mud flats, especially from the Frisian mainland coast to the Frisian islands. Regulation The Wadden Sea, a belt of the North Sea, is well suited to this traditional practice. Belts of this shallow sea lie off the mainland of the Netherlands, between Friesland and the Frisian Islands, off the coast of northwestern Germany, and off the coast of southwest Jutland in Denmark. In the Netherlands, mudflat hikers can walk from the mainland to Ters Schelling, Ameland, in Gelsman Plot, Skiermanekoog, Simons Sand, and Rotemarug. Other mudflat hiking routes are known but are not recommended, either because of their inherent dangers or for the minimization of ecological disturbance, or both. In Germany, mudflat hikers can walk to the East Frisian Islands of Nordurni, Baltram, Landjug, Spiakarug, Minsneroldug, and Newark. The North Frisian Hall Igen Sudarug, Sudfall, Åland, Langeness, Grode, and Nordstrandismur as well as the island Far can also be reached from the mainland. There is also a connection between the islands Amram and Far. For this specific route, a guide is mandatory. In Denmark, mudflat hikers can walk to Mand, Fan, and Longley. The same activity is occasionally practiced in England, most commonly making use of abandoned subtitle carriage roads once used by horse-drawn traffic. The best known example is the crossing of Morecambe Bay, where guided walks along the 11 km route are led by the current holder of the ancient office of Queen's Guide to the Sands. Another is the Broom Way in Essex. Both routes pose severe potential dangers and walkers are usually led by experienced guides. In Dutch waters, mudflat hikers are strongly encouraged to only venture out into the Wadden Sea under the supervision of licensed guides, who will lead walkers onto the organized routes on which they are allowed to traverse the seabed. In the Netherlands, Wadlupsentrum Frisland in whole word, Wadlupsentrum Peter Buren Peter Buren, Dijkstras Wadluptokten Peter Buren, Stichting Athuizer Wad Athuizen, Wadlupverenaging Aranicola Groningen, Wadjit Sengrope Neward Nederland, and the Friska Wade Rinners are organizations for the training of mudflat hiking guides and the preservation of the sport. Though the tides change in very regular cycles, Anyone can easily misjudge the situation and find themselves quickly surrounded by the rising water on all sides, far away from the beaches. A guide should be hired to prevent any mishaps. <laughs>